Hello ladies and gentlemen, and guess what I didn't do for the first half of this episode of Barry Crumble while I was recording it? Guess what? I didn't have my microphone on. So that's epic. That's freaking cool. So I'm not even going to bother posting this in other places if uh, only people are subscribing you're going to see this one. But uh, yeah, we go. We got to go fight Garnet again. That villager lady actually had a funny line where she didn't give us anything because she said she didn't like Hardin's mustache. Yes, I translated the Japanese with my phone and I'm moving Tomas up here because I said last episode I would get him a kill. You know, as of recording this, this is me in the future. Uh, I am actually done recording the series, yeah. And since my finals are mostly over, I can go back to doing daily uploads soon like I used to before this semester started where I had the Calculus 2 class that ate up a lot of my time. See, I look forward to that soon. Even though I have all of these recorded, I still don't know if I'm going to post them all like back to back to back since I would like to pace them out a bit with the Three Houses episodes and streams and stuff, but... Needless to say, Baraku Emblem is done, and the finale was, a uh, quite a doozy. Hope you look forward to seeing that in, like, a week, a two weeks, maybe. I don't know. It depends on how my upload schedule is. Anyway, did I get Tomas his kill yet? I think I did. Tomas gets a lot of level-ups for the rest of this playthrough. Let me tell you, he gets a lot. Spoiler alert. None of them are good. <laughs> none of them are good. I just spoiled the future for you. None of them are good. None of them are good. Anyway, I think a minute has passed now, so we're reaching the point where I realized, past me, realized that the microphone was off. So, in a bit, I'm gonna have to phase out of reality. No, no, I'm phasing back into the future. No, no. Alright, and halfway into the episode, I just realized my mic was off. That's great, that's great. Anyway, so I guess I'll just go back to what I was talking about and reiterating my points from that, because... That's great. Why does this happen to me sometimes? I just don't know. I just, I didn't see the little mic is off switch when I hit the record on the Windows thing. So that's great. Yeah, that is, that's great. Anyway, we're getting Tomas Epic EXP here. Okay, so what I was saying is, you know, this game, I'm, I mean, I'm playing a ROM hack of F3, and that got me thinking about how, how Fire Emblem 3 really isn't all that good. Like, don't get me wrong, it's a good game, you know, but they cut stuff from book one. From Fire Emblem 1, you know, no, Tom no Tomas in Book 2, so that's pretty sad. How can you not have Tomas in Book 2? I mean, come on. And, but, hi and I was saying how I think, uh, generally with Fire Emblem 12 is better, because, you know, this game is pretty easy. Pretty easy game. Uh, vanilla, not Baraku Emblem. Baraku Emblem, uh, sure has been something so far. But, you know, the thing is, uh... God, I really said all this. I said uh, I said all of this out loud, all of my points, all of my points and everything. And then uh, my brain just did not notice that my mic was turned off. So now repeating my points is kind of awkward because I already said them in my mind. So and now I need to remember everything I said. So anyway, yeah, this game is a fine game. You know, it introduced a lot of stuff like trading and whatnot. But usually, um... I, I really would rather stick to Fire Emblem 12, but people say Chris is bad, but really, is she though? Because, right, like, people say, oh, she stole all of Jagan's cool moments, but, like, he still says the thing to Lang, and that is, you know, the, you know, Jagan cool moment TM. So you're not really missing much there in the remake. You know, Fire Emblem 3 has a lot of cool characters like Luke. You know, Legend of Luke, you gotta love the Legend of Luke, but the thing is, he's only cool. Uh, well, no more Thomas EXP there, that's quite sad. He's only cool because Fire Emblem 12 made him cool, because in Fire Emblem 3 he doesn't say anything, you know? Not a word. Unless he dies, so he mimics Kane the Quiet Revolutionary in that way. It mimics him very, very much. And a lot of Fire Emblem 3 characters are like that. And I have to say, you know, Shadow Dragon is my second favorite game in the series, but what I'm leading into all of this is that I saw some theories a while ago, some conspiracy theories, because this obviously is not going to happen. Where they were like, oh, they're kissing uh, Fire Emblem 1's ass in December when they released it. Maybe the next game is another Arcanea remake. And people were stressing about that and like, oh my god, I don't want to go to Arcanea again. Well, you know, I honestly wouldn't mind, because as much as I like Shadow Dragon and Fire Emblem 12 and Fire Emblem 3, I still feel like each iteration got something slightly wrong, you know? Slightly... Just slightly wrong, because you know, Fire Emblem 12, it had supports, but all of the supports, except I also had a few. Except, like, Belf had a exclusive support for some reason out of all the other Arcanine characters they could have had exclusive supports with, which was interesting. Alright, yep. Yeah. Astrum, let's see. 
guess I'll just have Violent attack one of these guys. And Shadow Dragon uh, could have had some supports, I suppose. And like Fire Emblem 3, you know, people could, you could say it's better because it doesn't have Chris. Uh, but this game is very easy. The shards make it very easy, as I said. You know, Fire Emblem 12 is better in a lot of in a lot of ways. I feel like if you just made a joint remake, Fire Emblem 1 and 2, you fleshed out the cast, you kept a lot of the map design from Fire Emblem 12 since it's pretty good. I feel like this game, the Arcanea game series, could just use one more, just one more iteration, and then it'd be good, and then we'd be good to go. You know, good job, Ashram. You really are the strongest man in Arcanea. I just feel like you know. This game really just needs one more go around, because as much as I like Shadow Dragon, you know, I like the art style, but the art style definitely wasn't for some people. Uh, the early game chapters on Hard 5 were kind of bad, you know, stuff like that. So I just, you know, compared to Shadows of Valentia, where you had the voice acting, you had the additions of, you know, the dungeon, well, you could still explore dungeons in God, but they made it uh, more interesting because of the, you know, 3D graphics on the 3DS. You know, you had a lot of, you know, uh, Echoes isn't my favoritest game in the series. Just because some of the maps can get a bit tedious with all the, you know, they're all pretty much all around the enemy maps. And some of the maps, like that dude that causes an earthquake, at, like every three turns that keeps just summoning guys, and he's like in a maze with the Dread Fighters, I don't like that a lot. I don't like that very much at all. But, you know, it's still a mostly good game. It's, I feel like, you know, they don't need to remake. And again, they don't need to remake Arcanea again. Shadow Dragon and uh, this one are fine games. Very, very fine games, in fact. But it's just, uh, I feel like, you know, people's reception to Arcane still isn't the warmest because of the flaws they perceive the DS games to have. And I get that people are sick of it, like, Fire Emblem 1 has had, like, three remakes at this point. Well, not three, Fire Emblem 1 has had two remakes, but then you have, like, a remake of New Mystery, so it's like a lot of Arcane. But I still feel like you know, I really wouldn't mind another Arcane Air remake, because there's still some stuff they could touch up on. You know, ha still have Chris in New Mystery, like, you added her, you can't unadd her. But, I don't know, maybe make her personality a bit more, uh, less suck up -y. like, you know, still have her, right? Because her base personality still is kind of fun, you know. Uh, she's bad at cooking, you know, that's a thing, and she dedicates her life to training, so she's bad in some social situations, which leads to funny supports with, like, Fina, where... Uh, God, what was her Phoenix support? Oh yeah, where... And I'm just talking about female Chris, since I've never played as male Chris, so I don't know what his supports are like. Alright. So that's why I'm saying she. Alright. And I'm just gonna speed this part up until I open all the chests. So, for the first time in a while, here's a Kawashitai. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I just realized there was a door here, and I guess I must have accidentally used a door key with this dude. Uh, so I was gonna bait Violent with Wolf, and I guess we don't have to do that. Also, I got a speed ring. So yeah, Va Garnev not moving certainly made this map easier than I thought it would be. But yeah, anyway, so I feel like Arcanea with just one more game could really get everything right that uh, people see wrong with it, you know, that it's problems. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, so now what we have to do here is, like, not bait Garnep, I guess. And Tomas already got his EXP. Like I said, I promised I would get Tomas a kill. He got two kills, in fact. Ooh, 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 Tomas Gaming. Almost caps level 11 speed, 10 strength. Whatever. We take those, we take those. Anyway, I gave the speed ring to Violent. Oh, I'm stupid. Yep, that'll do it, that'll do it, that'll do it, that'll do it. Yep, okay. So, I guess, uh, let's see, will he still come for me? Will he still come for me, since I've aggroed him, or will he just go back into place? Okay. Actually, let's just lure him down more, then. Let's just lure him down even more, since he doesn't have that aggressive AI, you know. Alright. So now Garnef won't be a problem, okay. GG devs, GG, 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 GG. GG Baraku dev, and now I just do this. You are fully healed, right? Yep, alright. Who knows, maybe we can get Etzel the Pretzel a kill. Because I do want to promote him sometime soon. 
but it's hard with Sedgar and Wolf being so good to actually get Etzel kills. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But we did get Baraku the speedering. So now his stats are shaping up quite nicely, especially when he's mounted. And Tomas is blocking off the archers. That's nice. No more reinforcements after I covered that hole with Tomas. Alright. So what's the range of this hero? Alright, so we don't want to attack it from one range yet. And another round of combat with Sedgar would surely end it. So let's see, Etzel the Pretzel, what's your maximum attack stat right here? Attack 9. Hmm, alright. So I'll have to do a bit more damage with somebody like Horus, who has quite a bit of attack. Alright, Javelin. You missed, you dolt, you cringe. Alright, whatever. Etzel will just double and win epically. Elfire, get it. Wait, actually, this is a fire dragon. Which means that my blizzard is effective. I forgot, I forgot. I forgot that this is a system 503 had. That's good. I forgot that Etzel took damage. I almost just had to reset this whole map. Luckily, I'm lucky and good at the game. So, get pwned, Baraku Dev, yet again. I have uh, proven my epic strategical superiority. This dude has a meter, gonna have to kill him with the wolf right quick. Anyway, so Etzel's very close to promotion now. Forgot to unequip the broken sword, that sucks, oh well. Oh well. Nah, the tricky thing is gonna be getting Lind all the way to that chest. So we're just gonna have to see how that works out. Alright, come and get me here, oh boy. You got crit anyway, because you're sad. Alright. So maybe try to set up another kill for my man. Etzel, let's see. And now maybe have somebody who's maybe not the best at killing. Take out this guy, let's see. Luck 2. Crit 14, oh god. Violent, why are you so unlucky? Uh, he has too many resources, so I would be sad if he died. God, this guy just has a lot of crit, Jesus. This guy's a threat. Can you get crit by, like, Etzel? Nice! Nice, nice, nice. Alright, Etzel, very close to promotion. Very close. Alright, where's Wolf? I'll just heal him up. Get Maria some EXP. And we did get a lot of promotion items, but I think I'm going to sell most of them so that, uh, since I don't really have too many people to promote, especially the Orion's Bolt. I don't know why that game gives you so many Orion's Bolts. Anyway, Garnet, what is your effective range? Okay, so don't put anyone there. Anyway, I'm going to do a speed up again just to get Lind over to where she needs to be to actually uh, get the treasure. So again, I will be back soon. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so like me, you're probably wondering what treasure was so good that it was worth hiding. All the way over here, and now all will be revealed, knowing Barak Wumblem it's probably just a middle finger or something. Uh, yeah, I guess I was right in the end. That's great. Thank you, Baraku Dev. Anyway, so yeah, don't get in range of Garnet. Guess I'll heal up Etzel. And uh, I would fight Lorenz, but he does have a Silver Lance. So I guess that'll be nice. He's not as good as Horus, though, I don't think. Actually, he's slightly better than Horus. So, ah, uh, well. Anyway, the main thing is we just have to get our little Dark Emperor over there and kill him. Kill that man dead. And that will be that. Uh, next chapter, whenever we see an army, I have a lot of selling to do after this chapter with how many useless promotion items I got. Oh no, not the meteor. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Hello, friend. Ba 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 ba. I wonder why he still has the good Harden portrait, even though uh, he's the evil Harden. Anyway, here's Lorenz. We're probably not going to use him. 
Uh, I could give this Meteor EXP to somebody else. Not really feeling like, okay. So let's see, how much EXP do these guys give? EXP 40. And let's see, Axel has 12 attack. And these guys have 16 res. Oh, nope, never mind. That's not going to work out at all. Christ almighty, okay. That's not good. Whatever. Feed them to the hounds then, I guess. We could give them to Tomas, which would be quite epic. But that would require moving him over there, and I really don't feel like it at this point. Actually, there's not even a point in wa wasting the weapon uses on him if I'm just going to have Wolf kill him. Alright. What I will do, though, is have Harden take out this guy. Bye. There we go. Because that guy had a recover on him that I wanted. And let's see, this guy is nothing, so let's just scoot skedaddle, I guess. Seize. And once again, we have thwarted the evil Garneth all while getting an awesome door key. So that's good. Glad we got that door key. What would I have done without that door key? God, knowing that I have a door key from the Baraku Emblem developer really brings a tear to my eye and a village with nothing in it at the beginning, but at least we finally got a speed ring for Violent. That's nice at least, I guess. Thank you. Baraku Dev, oh, we're all the way over here now, Jesus. Oh, okay, and I guess we're on Anri's way with Wyvern Riders, with Horse Banes, a Ice Dragon. An Ice Dragon with a portrait, I think that's a Baraku Emblem original. Well, we know who's going to be useful here. It's Etzel, so I guess next time on Barak Emblem, Etzel finally gets his just desserts. And with that, everybody, I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Uh,